lethal out. That's a fight for 94 right there. There's a there's a guy on that all right, Anvil's on that box up there with a shield out. Commencing resuscitation. Ronan's over here looking at us. Uh oh, it's cutting across. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some Scorch gameplay and today we're going to be talking about the best skirmish game mode in Rogue Company. So let's head over and check it out. So this to me is the best skirmish game mode in Rogue Company. I absolutely adore this game mode so so very much. I love it more than any of the other skirmish game modes that are currently in the game and that is dodgeball. I love dodgeball. I think that it is a very very well designed mode. I think that it is a very cleverly designed mode and I think that this is this is and should have been the premier game mode for Rogue Company. I think that they realistically dropped the ball on Battlezone in a gigantic way, and I think that this is the superior game mode. Uh, and I know Battlezone and Dodgeball, you know, they offer different things, right? They're, they're played completely different. They offer different things. But just on paper, just on value and replayability alone, I have tons more fun specifically with Dodgeball than I ever have with Battlezone. And I think that it is a game mode that I've never seen before. Battlezone is a poor man's battle royale at the end of the day. And we've seen that time and time again with the abundance of battle royales that have flooded the market in the past, what, three to five years, uh, maybe a little bit longer at this point. So it's something that we've seen before. It's something that we've experienced before. Yes, there is a little slight rogue company spin to it, but every battle royale comes up, that comes out has their own slight little spin to the genre, right? So at the end of the day, it is what it is. But dodgeball for me, though, man, I love this game mode. I think that it brings the best of both worlds with tactical gameplay and also respawnability because you have to make something happen in order to get your team back and you can turn the tides of battle with a well-placed grenade with a well-placed demon blast and you can bring the majority of your team back if you are the last one alive and single-handedly turn the tides of that battle from a losing situation to a winning situation and i think that a lot of people don't look into it anywhere near as much as they should but it is very much a tactical game mode you do have to play it a little bit more reserved than some of the other skirmish game modes you do have to think about where you're moving and where you're going to and the things that you're trying to accomplish in that match and also you benefit from small things like thirst other than money things like that it also brings one of your down teammates back to life so you want to encourage a play style to where you can single someone out, get the down, get the thirst. That way it brings someone back on your team. And then you guys can group up and move into the enemy territory as a unit at that particular moment. I, I think it's the best of all worlds in Rogue Company. And I would not mind seeing a larger version of this played in like a 6v6 game mode. I know that might be a little bit crazy or over the top. But I do think that it could work in a 6v6 game mode. And it would probably work and perform a lot better system wise with 6v6 as opposed to the current 6v6 TDM where there's so much stuff going on that most systems can't run the game mode and the systems that can run the game mode well congratulations spending all your tax money on being able to run a game mode in Rogue Company. Um, and dodgeball is so good that they brought that dodgeball rule set into extraction. Extraction was one of the first, if not the very first LTM that was released for Rogue Company. And it was a single life game mode to where you had one point. Both teams were fighting over the point. You had to capture the point and the team that captured it won the round single life game mode and they effectively brought the dodgeball rule set into extraction and they made it a little bit more accessible for other players a lot of players don't like playing tactical a lot of players don't like playing single life game modes but dodgeball like i said is the best of both worlds at that point so i think that that brought a lot of people into the fray whenever it comes specifically to uh extraction and who knows where it could end 
I wouldn't mind seeing this on a larger scale in 6v6. I wouldn't mind seeing this on some of the uh, larger maps, which we do with extraction, but I do like it on the larger maps. I do like it on the skirmish maps, but to me, it feels like the most well-rounded skirmish game mode. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like dodgeball? Do you think that it is one of the best game modes in Rogue Company? And do you think it should have been the premier game mode for Rogue Company? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members. Lastly, on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. Central Time, Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you're interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys. Ronan's moving up. She's one shot. Beautiful. Okay. I need help. I got that other than Garbo. No. No, I made no I'm fucking sense. I'm not upset about it. I'm not <laughs> saying you are. It's I because, am. It's because it of makes the, no sense. the saves that you had. Garbo didn't have no saves. You didn't have no saves, Garbo.